Blade Singer Wizards, you dance while you throw spells at your foes. This subclass was originally released in Sword Coast Adventures Guide, limited to only elves. And then it received quite a rework later on. That doesn't happen often. It was later re-released in Tashis without any limitation or lineage or race. Welcome to Pack Tactics, where everyone has super advantage. Let's get into it. At level 2 you get two features, like most wizard subclasses. First is training in war and song. When you adopt this tradition at second level, you gain proficiency with light armor and you gain proficiency with one type of one-handed melee weapon of your choice. You also gain proficiency in performance skill, if you don't already have it. Mage armor beats any non-magical light armor, so you should still be casting that instead. But getting this proficiency does allow us to pick up moderately armored. However, that is not something I would necessarily recommend with how this subclass works. Picking up moderately armored is like a bard thing, really. As for weapon, pick rapier. It does the most damage. It also fits aesthetically with the subclass. I think everyone knows this. The second half is a bit of a ribbon. It always disappoints me when you don't get a replacement for a proficiency when you already have it. Anyways, performance isn't insane and our charisma won't be particularly good but this is free and it can be a quick money maker for a mule or components for find familiar so it's something second feature is why you pick this subclass blade song you can invoke an elven magic called the blade song provided that you aren't wearing medium or heavy armor or using a shield it graces you with supernatural speed agility and focus you can use a bonus action to start the blade song, which lasts for one minute. It ends early if you are incapacitated, if you don't medium or heavy armor or a shield, or if you use two hands to make an attack with a weapon. You can also dismiss the blade song at any time, no action required. While your blade song is active, you gain the following benefits. You gain a bonus to your AC equal to your intelligence modifier, minimum of plus one. Your walking speed increases by 10 feet. You have advantage on dexterity acrobatics checks. You gain a bonus to any constitution saving throw you make to maintain your concentration on a spell. The bonus equals your intelligence modifier, minimum of plus one. You can use this feature a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Before the rework, this used to be twice per short or long rest. Quite a lot of people were sad about this change, but overall, this subclass is still really good. I, I would say in the upper half of the wizard subclasses, just because of this feature. You can start with two uses per long rest, and eventually get up to six. If you can properly gauge which combats will be the toughest, this should be more than enough in most games. It's an awesome feature. Extra movement allows you to outspeed and kite your opponents. 40 is bigger than 30, am I right? And most enemies have a 30 foot movement speed or less. You also get better at maintaining your concentration on your spells. This bonus is especially useful when the DC for the save is 10, because together with proficiency from something like Resilient Calm, you get close to auto beating this DC. Then there's the advantage on acrobatics checks. I I'd say this one is the least exciting here. But most importantly, the bonus to AC basically allows you to be a wizard with a good AC without having to dip into classes that give you proficiency in armor. That, that's incredible. If we have plus 2 dexterity and plus 3 intelligence, we have 13 plus 2 plus 3 equals 18 AC with mage armor. Once we use shield, we get 23 AC. With good positioning, you can believe it or not, make good use out of cover to become even harder to hit. Fantastic. This feature alone basically leads this subclass to be optimally played as a straight class wizard. Your main subclass feature is basically better spell progression because you don't have to dip into other classes for your armor. Keeping up your spell progression consistently is massive and especially for wizards. Usually the goody dips are better than not dipping, however, that's not the case here for the most part. If you do decide to dip, you could just take off your armor before the fights if you want to use Blade Song for a while. Ah! 
Bad time! Hello, DMs. I don't know about you, but I personally have a hard time explaining cities and stuff. I look up a good map to use for the game, but I struggle to make these cities feel alive for the players. It always feels so empty and boring. But that's no longer a problem for me. This video is sponsored by Describe, where you can get professionally written box descriptions of absolutely everything. Thousands of scenes. With this optimal tool, we can link things together. The party's on the quest to buy magical beans because they need to go fight the cloud giants who are terrorizing the realm with rain. Everyone is sick of the constant rain, so the players were sent to control the weather by killing the cloud giants. They heard there was a bean seller in the city, so they ventured there. When they reach the gates, we read this out loud. City gates! I already read this out to you in another video, but anyways, they can do things here. Maybe they see corrupt guards abusing their powers or whatever. Then from there, players get involved. I don't know. Maybe they ignore them. Who knows? Eventually, they get to the city core and you read out city core. Tons of details here. Players can roll perception to spot the shop that sells the beans. They succeed on the check, but you can potentially throw an encounter here. They see thieves fishing pockets. They chase them down to a dark alleyway. You read this box, cross out this section, and instead detail the thieves being armed and ready to kill. Players win the fight. They get loot. There's roleplay if they keep the loot or not. After that, you read the next box involving a magic item shop. The point is, you're stringing tons of box descriptions to immerse the players and to spark your own imagination on the spot. Check out dscribe.com slash packtactics. It's good, and if you like what you see, they hope to earn your subscription. Use the code packtactics at the checkout to get 10% off your first subscription payment. At level 6, you get extra attack. But this isn't normal extra attack. This is a better extra attack than anybody else's. You can attack twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Moreover, you can cast one of your cantrips in place of one of your attacks. This also got changed in the rework. It used to be regular old extra attack, but now it's special. A kobold shadow blade! Gator, not now, I'm working. If you were casting booming blade, which is basically an improved melee attack, with your rapier. You just outdo a marshal who is also using a rapier. This is because they can only do two normal melee attacks, whereas you have one improved melee attack plus one normal one. Ah, 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 don't get me wrong though, this is not a reason to go into melee. You are still best off being a wizard in the back line because that's fighting safe. But once you're forced into melee, you can attack, then booming blade, then bonus action misty step out to continue being in the back line. And before the comments are filled up, yes, I know you guys dislike me saying not to run into melee. And yes, I know it works fine in most games. That is why you should do whatever you want. I'm just a lawful evil lizard with strong opinions. I don't have any authority over your characters. Whatever you do, do not send your Bladesinger party member this video and tell them they are playing the game wrong. It's fine, they'll survive, they'll progress the story. But it's not optimal, which is not a big deal. Optimally, your main strategy will be using a light crossbow and your range cantrips. Then on top of that, you're a wizard. You should use your spells, you should use shutdown. You should use Fireball. You should use these things. But Kobold! It's called Blade Singer, not Crossbow Singer! That reminds me of College of Swords Bard. That's for a future video. No idea when. Warning though, you can't use Blade Song with a light crossbow. So the idea is you use the crossbow when you're not in danger. Then once you are in danger, you drop the crossbow and use Blade Song. Then from there, you pull out a sling or your rapier. Anyways, there are two funky interactions that I find interesting for this feature. One has to do with haste. I know you guys love haste while I hate it. Haste gives you an action and it says that action can be used only to take the attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. There are two valid readings for this. The first is exclusively exactly one weapon attack. The second is no more than one weapon attack. The latter would allow you, for example, to take the shove action instead of needing to use your weapon. It would also allow for the blade singers specifically to use their hasted action to cast a cantrip without a weapon attack. 
and shoot your light crossbow. Okay, yes, this is not insane, but I like it. Sorry. Boo, Kobold, boo! Another funny one is mending. Wait, what? Kobold, that doesn't work. Mending takes a minute. Yes, but the feature changes that. There are no spells with a casting time of one out of two attacks of your extra attack. Specific beats general. If I say that more than you, I win and my specific is better than yours. So for those people that don't know, mending takes a minute to cast normally and if you first attack the floor, or something, you could instead cast it super quickly by replacing your second attack with the cantrip. Kobold, you're so boring, I'm falling asleep. Why aren't you talking about Shadow Blade? Gator, Shadow Blade is not a feature, it's a spell. Sure, they can pick up the spell, but it's not part of the subclass. We're gonna talk about Shadow Blade eventually. When? Um, next year. Probably next year. Ah! Angry! Angry! Uh-oh. Well, anyways, Song of Defense, their 10th level feature. You can direct your magic to absorb damage while your blade song is active. When you take damage, you can use your reaction to expend one spell slot and reduce that damage to you by an amount equal to five times the spell slot's level. This is an extra boon that will help your resilience, though keep in mind that shield and absorb elements, the two spells you should definitely have at this point, will probably reduce more damage than this. Capstone, Song of Victory, at level 14. You can add your intelligence modifier to the damage of your melee weapon attacks while your blade song is active. This is sadly a pretty boring capstone and not very strong. This is also not enough for it to be optimal to run into melee. You have god spells at this point. Okay, I'm done with you, Kobold. Just let me cast Shadow Blade. Oh my god, Gator, you can still cast Shadow Blade, it's fine. Conclusion. Blade Song alone is why you pick this subclass. A straight Blade Singer is one of the best gishes in the game because it's not actually a gish. It's a full caster. If you treat it like a full caster and progress as a straight wizard, you're optimizing. You're getting the god spells quicker than someone who is multiclassing. That's a huge advantage. Most people treat this subclass like it's a gish and play it like a gish. That playstyle is equally fun. And fun is all that matters, really. You should really be optimizing your own fun rather than what I say is better or not. It's your character. But be warned, for most Blade Singers, there will be a point in your progression where your gish playstyle will become a full caster playstyle because the wizard spells are insane and you get tons of spells and tons of spell slots. I like this subclass a lot. I think it's really cool. End of video. Me and Describe hope to earn your subscription. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.